Uh, so hi, hi everyone. So as you guys here, all JS developers, we must know about something called Yarn, right? So Yarn is a new Node.js package manager. It's very secure and fast, much faster. It's taking the world by storm, and it's trending right now. So yeah, rightfully so. It's a very good tool, and I like it personally. So for right now, I think Yarn is on top of the trending project on GitHub. And roughly so, again. Uh, yep. I'm sorry. Yep. So this is Yarn. I'm sorry. Uh, yeah, so 200 stars a day. By the way, this is data from my last, uh, from last Sunday when I prepared for this deck. Maybe right now data is a bit different, but the way you get the idea. But I'm not here today to talk about Yarn, though. I want to talk a bit about Vue.js, just one step ahead of Yarn in terms of the trending project on, on, on GitHub about uh, JS. So Vue.js is a, is a simple yet powerful library for building modern web applications. What does it mean? And, right, and this is how popular it is. 31,000 stars on GitHub. Questions on the Stack Overflow. It has a new list, newsletter, right? Uh, 5,000 people on Gitter. Uh, Ad adapted by uh, Spark from Laravel, the Logwell, and just last week, it's been it was picked by GitLab to be the official front-end framework. So I'm here today. By the way, my name is An, and I'm um, a core member of VGS team. So I'm here today to give you guys a very quick introduction about very, very, very quick and brief about uh, VGS. Why this? Why is it a thing, and why is it, why is it trending now in the Java script world, right? So, a bit of history. So, VGS was created by this guy, Chinese guy called Yo Yu Si, and uh, name is Ivan. He's living in uh, in um, in America right now, I believe. And uh, it started as co the code name is Seed, started in July 2013, and. One year later, the first public release was there. And, right. and so after that, one year later, uh, Ivan started to quit his every job, I believe, from Google. And he started a patent campaign at this, uh, this year's March. And it turned out to be hugely successful. He's now working full-time on VGS. And he founded a core team just two days, three days, after the Patreon campaign started. And yeah, we have 20 people strong in the team right now. I mean, nine, nine, 19 people in, in one week. Um, all right, so just beginning of this month, we have Vue.js 2.0 released with a lot of you know, new features and, and uh, enhancements. So it's just uh, like a milestone in the history. If you want more about the Vue.js history, I suggest take a look at this. Uh, deck from Kazoo Pond, another member of, of our team. Right. So this is the first glance of VGS. Uh, you have a div, you have a script, and okay, you know what? Just scratch this. I will try to uh, write a uh, uh, um, uh, Fido instead. And how can I show my Chrome browser on this? One. All right, thank you. This is how I get to this place, by the way. <laughs> okay, so let's go to GSP, all right? Um, and I'm sorry. The guest? SM? PayPal guest. Oh. All right. Thank you. Sorry, sorry. Don't fail me now. All right. Uh, sorry for this hic hic hiccup. Mm, all right. Uh, you can see this, right? So by the way, GS Fido is one of our official sponsors uh, on Patreon. So using their service is, is just a, a good idea. All right. So this is how a VGS application look like this. You have a division. And inside you say something like, you know, a very basic thing, say, 
All right, hello. I don't know. Put a name here, all right? And I'm going to use Vue.js right here, the edge version. New view. We take that element and we put some data into the picture. And we say name. I don't know. Put view here. All right. And we run it. All right, so hello view. Simple as that. That's a fully functional view application. But of course, you don't write this silly thing when you, when you do real time, real life work, right? You need a form, you need some input, you buy the, the data into the model, and you send the data to, to, to the, uh, some RESTful API. So let's do this now. Right, so let's, let's put an input here. I'm sorry, this is not an input, right? <laughs> I say, what's it? Model equal name. And that's it, that's all we need to do now. Right, so we see, hello view and view. Uh, this model and uh, the data we have here are bound together in, it's, in something we call a reactivity system. Let's we change it into, I don't know, hello talk.js. Oh, right, and so say hello to all yes. And you know, we can change this to whatever we like, hello from the other side. So hello <laughs> from the other side. Hello, Adele. <laughs> all right, so now you want to send this whole thing to some RESTful uh, API. So you need a button here, right? So when you put a button here, you add a clip handle and by clicking the button, more than often you want to prevent the default hook. So it's just say prevent. Equal something, submit, let's, let's just put submit. So it's a method. So I would just add a method object into this, this stack. And I say submit here. All right. And instead of just sending something to the, to the server, I would just alert here. Uh, uh, here submit in. Uh, plus this dot name, which is this thing, right? And again, let's just run it. So uh, of course, I need something here because you don't want an empty button. Submit. Uh, sorry, submit me. Okay. All right. So I don't know Adele because we say hello to her before. So so say so submit in Adele. Simple as that. Of course, you want to put this into a form or whatever. Let's say you have a form here, right? <coughs> oh, this is uh, OK, because you want a form for a semantic. I don't know if I even pronounce it right. Uh, right, so instead of button click, you just put the whole thing into a form. And it's, it's not click, it's submit. And run it again. OK, so now you can just put push enter here or click the button here. So if you notice, I didn't have to refer to any documentation during the course. Because it's not just, it's not because I'm, I'm a member of VHS so I know how it works. <laughs> <laughs> OK, we're cheating. OK, I, I've been writing this a lot. But anyway, this is how easy and, and beginner friendly it is. This, this you must admit, it's very clear and everything is there and it's understandable, it's like English. So, so let's go back to uh, that. How do you press? Command F. Command F. F1. One. Yeah. And, and it, uh, uh, okay, that's what? F1. F1. Oh, F1. Command F. F1. 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 Oh. All right, I need a, a lesson from you <laughs> later. So yeah, it's, it's how easy Vue is. Um, yeah, but the thing about Vue is not just about easy. Uh, what we internally and we like to ad 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 advertise about Vue is we often call it a progressive framework. And by, uh, OK, uh, how, how do you go there? I'm, I'm sorry. Uh, let's see. Huh? Uh, That's it? Oh, OK, awesome. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. Uh, 
So a progressive framework, what does it mean? It means, yeah, you can just start with some very uh, small applications, and you would, all you want to do is to have some declarative rendering or some common system in place. For that, you have the VGS core. But then uh, your app starts to get bigger, or you decide to be an SPA instead, and you need a client-side routing framework or library on top of that, and we have that. We have something called a client-side routing, a view router. So you just add this onto the stack, and it's very simple to, to implement, and you have the client-side routing. And your application keeps getting bigger, right? Because it's a good thing, and it keeps getting bigger, and your data is harder and harder to reason about. So that's, that's when you need to put, you, you want to put some state management library into the stack. And we have that, we have Vuex. So Vuex is the Redux or ELM inspire library on top of Vue. And it does pretty much the same. It's a large scale stage management uh, immutable library, right? And, and then you want, right, you want the abuse system. You want to use Vue with Webpack, Browserify, and you want a, a common line interface. We have all of them. So this is what we call a progressive framework. You keep adding stuff into the, the stack when you need it. And you don't need a full uh, everything in, in, the, in the first place. All right. So the next I want to talk about is view speed. Our view is very fast. Um, I know we have a lot of React here. And yeah, but view kind of defeats <coughs> React in terms of speed, rendering time. So Low is better. And by the way, this is the third party uh, uh, benchmark. It's not something that's done by us. So it's, it should be as biased, unbiased as possible. So this is vanilla, vanilla JS, 1x, Vue, and React, and then Angular, the, the um, RC version. And despite being fast, Vue is very lean. Right? So this is just with 20, 23 kilobytes. Can I move this here? Oh, sorry. Just with 73 kilobytes, you can have a fully functional view runtime built. And if you want the, the view router and view X that I just told you guys about, just add more, nine more kilobytes there. Still half the size of React, Redux, React Router, and we're not talking about these two guys here, which is monster dinosaurs in terms of sizes. <laughs> uh, and view, view JS comes with added sugar. Uh, yeah. Yeah. By the way, this is my our internal icon. We 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 tend to play around with 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 uh, icons. <laughs> so yep, we have single file components. The when we the uh, single file components in view is some file that ends with view, and you can write the template HTML and CSS and, and JavaScript in, in the same file. And with CSS, you can you know you can add your favorite people. people uh, SAS, CSS, or less, or I don't know, Jug or Puck, Jade, into in, and then and you can have scope as well, right? And one more thing, you can normally you wouldn't need this, but you can uh, use render functions in US in in view yes uh, 2.0, and this help you to have the full control over the template that you write over the HTML and the DOM elements. So that means you can use your favorite, yes, your favorite, not my, I hate this, uh, yes, X with, with, with view. And I don't know, yep, that, that's, you can do that. I'm not sure if you want to do that, but you can. Um, and view 2.0 comes with server side rendering. And this is something that, you know, if you want your application to be known by Google, being a pure JavaScript application, you should really take a look at this. You should really be serious about this. So it's faster and it's a SEO and everything. And you have Vue Dev Tools, which is a Chrome developer tool extensions for easy debugging. And when you can buy this thing, with Vuex, you have time travel debugging, which is a very cool thing that I don't know how to use. <laughs> yep, I don't use Vuex, I'm sorry. <laughs> and last but not least, yeah, you can go native with Wix, or uh, it's Wix, and all on-send UI. So Wix 
by the way, Wix is, is being under active development by Alibaba and, and uh, Ivan Yo, because he's a Chinese guy, and Alibaba is a Chinese company, and they love each other. So they, so they come together, and, and they, they, they build this thing. And, uh, and, and we have this thing as well from, from Japan, I think. And, and, and these, these guys are, are integrating this on-send UI framework into, into with Vue as well. And it's in the preview release stage, which is a good thing. OK. Uh, OK, I've, I'll pass the deadline by two minutes. Anyway, thanks. Right. Uh, that, I hope that gives you a, a quick introduction about Vue. Thank you. So for more resources, you go here, you go here, you go here, you go here, or you go here and, and I don't know, you go here and tweet me something, I would say, yeah, this is me, by the way, uh, because some guy taken, <laughs> where is me? You trust me. All right, thank you. <laughs> you have any questions? So we have time for questions. I hope. Let's not. OK, cool, thank you. Yeah, that's good. Okay, right. Cool. right, thank you. Oh, yeah, sure.